Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna be giving you guys a general reading and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So, currently, okay, so I feel like immediately we're starting out like this, okay? But I feel like you left, no, no, no. Someone left you out in the cold and they were like a very sneaky person. Like just, they could have even lied to your face or they're just like a sneaky type of person and they could have lied to you, right? So this person wants to work on kind of creating like a fresh start with you guys between you and them. But I feel like you already have mental clarity that this person, they had the chance to make a decision, they didn't make a decision, and they kind of just left things, like, without making a decision. So, this person, um, this person feels like you have someone else, and they're not happy about it. They're coming up as the king of swords, so they're definitely not you know, gung-ho about the thought of you having other people. In fact, it's breaking their heart. So this could be something that they know of what, or something they saw, or it's just something they're making up in their mind that, okay, you have someone and yeah, they feel like you're, you're like mad at them or you're, you're basically like, some of these people feel like you're holding a grudge towards them and Basically, they feel like you're just going towards working on your life, celebrating, you're happy. This is what they feel, okay? What you don't see... Okay, no. Okay, I feel like you guys... I feel like this person really made it seem like, yeah, we're going to work on things. And potentially, in your mind, you're like, okay, potentially this could work out, right? And what... You... I feel like you were just putting your emotions into this, hoping that it would turn out to be a commitment or, you know, turn out to get more serious, you know? And I feel like in the end, it's almost like you feel like your emotions were ignored or like they didn't really give a shit about your emotions. And I feel like some of you guys regret just going for it because I feel like some of you guys just went for it and um, you weren't thinking, oh, am I going to get hurt? Oh, um, is this person going to screw me over? Like, maybe it was a thought in the back of your mind, but it's like, you didn't really think this person was really about to just screw you over. Hence why some of you guys really just went for it, right? Because you were hoping for the best. So in the end, um, so for a lot of you guys, you just felt ignored or like this person didn't want to work on things with you. I also feel like some of you guys are very guarded towards any people who are coming in towards you because you're like, listen... If I'm ever going to give someone else a chance, they're going to have to hit, tick all of my boxes. And yeah, so I feel like you guys could be turning like options down or you're just in general, just like guarded towards options right now. I feel like you're, you're very conflicted regarding like dating or like seeing someone again because of what this person from your past did. So you could be very like guarded or defensive towards new people coming in just because you're scared you're going to get hurt or you know yeah I feel like you saw a side of this person that you weren't really expecting out of a human being in general so this person could have been very like manipulative or toxic some of you guys this person could have had a drug problem or this person just had mental issues but I'm really getting just a real toxic energy coming out of this person and I feel like you still, you saw these toxic things and you still decided to give them a chance. You still were like, you know what? I'm going to look past all of these red flags. I'm going to look past the fact that you yourself are a red flag and I'm just going to hope for the best. And you really, like I said, you are putting your time and energy towards this, hoping for the best. And uh, at a certain point for some of you guys, this per you felt like this person just wasn't making a decision on you. So you started to feel stuck almost and you were just like you really started seeing things as like hopeful to like okay like you're gonna have to make a decision because I'm not gonna keep feeling like this so I feel like that decision was just never made and you started using your intuition like okay then this isn't gonna work out and I feel like things just started not working out at that point you started giving more to yourself 
at some point or the current energy or the near future is you are just really given to yourself you're 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 just feeling like you really had to balance out all of that past hurt and just a lot of things from your past and I feel like now it's like you're having this new beginning where it's like things are really about to start looking up all the way up like basically the cards are saying you're going to be getting your justice so basically you're about to be feeling really good about yourself also I'm seeing you're gonna like your self-worth is just gonna blow out of the water your self-confidence is gonna blow you out of the water you're gonna be like wow like I actually love myself I'm confident like maybe some of you guys were in such a low period like you just felt like you couldn't even be like yourself and be confident and some of you guys were like se second guessing yourselves and it's like you were like no I gotta boss up and it, and it was giving you anxiety because you were like no I want to be this person and I I'm not I'm not and you really you really decided in your head like no I'm gonna I'm gonna become that person and some of you guys are very like burdened and defensive towards being the best you because it takes a lot of work let's be honest but I feel like you guys are really just healing through the past and I feel like as that healing goes on I just feel like your self-worth and confidence is just going up 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 also, I see that some of you guys are going to be meeting your perfect match. If you guys can see this, we have the queen of wands and the king of wands. So those are, would be a perfect match within this relationship. You will find stability. So this will be a stable relationship. You could be doing very well regarding finances. And basically things are just looking really, really up. So this person, when they come in, they're going to see you as a very nurturing person. Basically their end all be all, their wish fulfillment. And I almost feel like you are going to be happy that all of those things happened and all of those things really taught you a valuable lesson about yourself. And it really pushed you into being the person and living the life that you're living today. Okay, so I feel like you're almost happy this ending happened because this new person you're about to meet, you're about to see this person as your. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.